Hi, I would like to do um, a reading with the activation of light, or gateway of light activation oracle. This is by Kyle Gray. Okay. So bear with me while I shuffle, please. This is a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, some people say it's woo-woo. It depends what you believe in, what resonates with you. This deck resonates with me, so... I absolutely love it. What is this collective missing to know here? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we have four. Your first one is Crystal Skull Wisdom, Clarity, Divine Healing, and High Vibrational Energy. The Stargate Heart, Heart Chakra Opening, Unlocking Generosity. Shambhalaya Initiations, Recreating to Recharge, Trusting in the Process, and Dharma. And someone may need to work on their third chakra because I feel like I can't, like someone's trying to keep me from speaking. Holy Grail, Inner Discovery, Finding Sacredness, You Are What You Seek. Okay. Now, I can read these activations to you, but I like to break this down with the Light Series Hero and see, like, what we can do to, uh, what we need to do to accomplish this or to what clarity we're gaining, etc. Okay, let me just check. The energy is the Queen of Swords. So you've been cutting people, places, and things out of your life that no longer resonate with your soul or are not a match to your vibration or equal reciprocation, okay? So let's see what this crystal skull wisdom is about. Clarity, divine healing, and high vibrational energy. What clarity is being gained or divine healing? High vibrational energy is this collective. Uh, if you have the hangman in reverse, I feel like you're... Gaining flexibility. You have the strength card with Libra energy and waiting on your chips to sell it in. So you're waiting on your abundance or love or something you've been manifesting to come in, okay? And be strong like the lion and brave and be loving and calm like the lamb. I feel like you harness both of those energies. You're in balance of the light and the dark, okay? What's this Stargate heart, heart chakra opening, unlocking generosity? I feel like this is your higher heart chakra, okay? What's this about? You have the Haragon, Taurus energy. Hey guys, sorry about that. That was clarification to me. You, some of you may be going through a court battle. That just reminded me of like arguing court, I don't know why. Um, thank you, Spirit. Um, but I feel like you're ascending to new levels. Uh, you're raising your vibration. Uzi, quit. Leave him alone. Sorry. My cat's kind of a bully from Death Comes Rebirth. This is a lot of major arcana. So this is a huge shift and change that's here from Death to Rebirth. So something had to end to be rebirth. And it could be a relationship for some of you. Clarify this, please. And there's the tower. Yeah, a huge change. This could be... I feel like this is maybe healing. Six of Cups healing from your childhood and your adulthood. You're going back to your... Visiting your childhood and... All the years before now and doing healing and reparenting yourself you are uh, nurturing your inner child okay you may be thinking of memories from the past and things are definitely coming up i see a, a huge change but i feel like this is a change for the better for you this is a shocking change all of a sudden the butterflies are here on this card and a squirrel which reminds me of a fall time and harvesting so i feel in winter so i feel like this is a time period like you're ready to spread your wings and fly okay and that's three major arcanas yeah this is a huge shift and change for you like i said what is this shambhala initiations retreating to recharge trusting the process and dharma about this collective please you have a four of wands. You're building a solid foundation. This is, could also be a soulmate card. Happy family celebrations. 
We have the star card. This is something you're hoped, wished, and prayed for. You're manifesting this. You have a strong, very strong connection to the divine. You are protected by the white light, by the armor of God. Okay. This is like money, luck, love. Everything you pretty much you could ever want. What's this inner discovery? Finding sacredness. You are what you seek. What's this inner discovery about? The Holy Grail for this collective, please. There is someone or something that you walked away from. It's either love, a love or, or like a relationship. Could be family as well. Clarify this, please. Eight of Cups. And you have two eights. Eight may be a significant number for you. You may have eight in your birthday. Um, or something that happened on the eighth month or for the eighth day. Something is coming in very fast. You're waiting on your manifestations to come in. You have or uh, something that you're working on here with the Eight of Pentacles. This is to increase your money. So you may be put, you're putting time and effort and money into yourself and your education or into a business or hobby that's going to help you manifest more money, okay? And you're finding out like you thought you needed other people to help you, but really everything you need is within. It's just beautiful, beautiful energy here. Is there anything else that's collected in this Please, Spirit. And you have a page of wands, so things are coming full circle, okay? What I feel with that card, like closing out of cycles or a new cycle beginning. You are protected from harm with the seven of wands. See how the wands are pointed directly at her, but she's in her bubble of white light protection. And that's what you do when you want to call in protection. When you even you pray, I always ask to be placed in white light, a bubble of white light, and armor of God. And I imagine that. I'm told another tip to do is point to the sky every morning before your feet hit the floor. Point to the sky and say, what's mine is mine, and, and draw a circle to the ground. Imagine a bubble being formed around you, and what's what's mine is mine, what's theirs is theirs. And that separates your energy from others for impasse. This is a new area of inspiration for you, a new time. You're going to have a lot of crea creative ideas suddenly come up, and just a burst of inspiration. Yeah, something you're very passionate about, or it could be someone for it. Some of you may be a relationship. Yeah, um, divine God source energy is bringing you in um, a blessing of love. Remember to only give what overflows in your cup, though. Be and the reason you're gated in this is because you cut out people, places, and things that no longer resonate with you. You left a past in the past, even when it came to a lover. So you're being sent your uh, true divine match counterpart. This is a huge blessing. I'll sit here. You have a high priestess, so you listen to your intuition, it is never wrong. You've gained clarity on so many things that you, like you're look, learning to look beyond uh, right, the, the reality here. Um, the temperance is here to, you know, you balance your light and your dark. You've balanced the masculine and feminine within. You're learning to live in complete balance, okay, and that's Sagittarian energy. The high priestess, um, by the way, is Pisces, and the lovers is Gemini. This page of um, swords is here. Remember to keep a detailed plan to your manifestations and your goals and the things you're wanting to bring in, okay? And write down, keep a dream dictionary. Um, write out your manifestations, your affirmations, and things like that. It will really help you at this time. And try automatic writing, I just heard for some of you. So, I feel like you may, some of you may have walked away with a job for the Ten of Swords uh, as well, um, and maybe opening your own business, and this is going to be a very bountiful and plentiful time for you. Some of you may, like, have started a business before, and you had to restart it because of someone or something, um, but now you have the gift of experience, and you manifested this, you're out learning to alchemize um, turn the light, dark into light kind of thing, bring in balance, okay, you're manifesting your goals, dreams, wishes, and desires, yeah, and this because you, if you haven't already, take the leap of faith, trust in God's source, the universe, that your manifestations will come in, and that you're being led by the light in the right way, you know, like, she's on this cliff, and she's close to the edge, and she's leaning over, and she knows she's protected here, because Amethyst is a stone of protection, um, she knows that God, source, universe will catch her. And take that how you resonate. This is a lot of major arcana. Like I said, this is a huge shift. Um, I'm going to get a new crystal. 
Oh, actually, we're going to do the um, unicorns with Diana Cooper here real quick. New opportunities are coming to you. That is the energy of this. I haven't used this deck for a while. This is like when I want to work with my inner child. This is the deck that I uh, use because I used to collect unicorns. And this is like a Christ consciousness deck. What, uni what messages do our unicorns have this to be for this collective? I'm trying to get these exactly in the, uh, what are they doing? Okay. Oneness, number 42. Look for the common humanity. Invoke Lemurian light. So you, you are basically calling in your soul family and soul friends. Refreshing oasis. Nurture yourself. Gather your strength. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. We have to take care of ourselves as well as remember your, your energetic hygiene as well as your physical. And by like cleansing with smoke or clearing with crystals, clearing in meditation, sea salt, bass, egg cleanses, things like that. Enter the magic. Live in the now and seize the moment. So you need to seize this moment and live in the now. You've got something huge here coming. And it's going to, uh, huge blessings. Lots of them on the way. You're a spiritual warrior. Number 37. 7 and 3 is 10. 10 is completion. Share. Show you are a wise leader and command the universe. You learn to alchemize things. You work, you're a co-creator with God. Um, and you are a spiritual warrior. That's just like the strength card. Create your envision, the number three. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. So what is it that you, what hobby do you like to do? What knowledge do you have? What is it What do you wanted to be when you were little like me? You know, I used to play in mud holes and make potions to heal people. And I played war drums and things like that. And I'm getting connected back to my native roots. Um, and I always wanted to be a teacher or a doctor. And so, and I'm a healer, and I'm a spiritual leader and teacher, so. So what is it that you used to do? What hobbies did you have? That is the key to finding your soul's purpose. The cosmic pearl is here. Expand your psychic gifts. Open the gate to angelic realms. And four and three is seven, seven. It reminds me of heaven and protection. Um, so your psychic gifts are expanding. I feel here around Christmas, maybe a little after, you're going to get a huge upgrade. Uh, if you haven't already, and it's going to come like overnight. So if you've been really tired lately, I kind of feel like it's because you are getting these different energetic upgrades. Make sure to drink plenty of water. Try to eat high vibrational foods. Um, but you are in connection with the angelic realms. You have a special relationship with the angels. Okay. Um, let's get a mood crystal. This is my new stuff from Target. I absolutely love it. And they have like different feelings and crystals that you can use to help with the energy. What mood crystals does this collective need to, uh, and information does this collective need spirit? Let me shuffle them one more time, please. Thank you guys, by the way, for the like, share, subscribe. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to leave this anxiety one out here because I feel like a lot of you need that right now. Um, some of you may be anxious about sharing your soul's purpose or starting the new business or doing the thing, right? What? Any other? Okay, we're good. They said, nope, stop there. Okay. So, we have worn out, strong, optimistic, and anxious. So, you tend to be an anxious person. I feel like you went through a lot of abuse in the past, and you're like, learn, and then because of that, you're anxious and you're learning to overcome this anxiety. This is about mental clarity, okay? So, to do, anxiety is often rooted in an inability to take action in life and is usually accompanied by a sense of uneasiness. It can become a huge consumer of our happiness and well-being when we feel anxious. We may also feel vulnerable, and at times, it may be an instinctive sign that something is not quite right. You can use black kyanite. 
to help with anxiety. Uh, also, Snowflake Obsidian, which is a powerful and protective stone that allows you to release control. When the mind is tail spinning, Snowflake Obsidian acts as a peacemaker and will aid you to come back into your body. Black Kyanate clears the emotional, physical, and mental body to become free of constraints. While you feel like a hostage in your mind, it will cut the cord that is keeping you in prison. Pyrite, pyrite feeds life in its reflective light and primal energy. It burns through the negative effects of anxiety as it offers counsel for those who need an outlet to express their fears. Red Jasper opens your gifts to the root of anxiety and offers stability and safety. It widens your grounding card to send palpable anxious energy down into the earth, coaxing soothing energy to rise back up into the body and mind. More crystals to try are Zircan, Amethyst, and Galena. Powerful stone combinations are blue kyanite and pyrite, red jasper, and galena, and snowflake obsidian and zircon. Okay. Physical emotions. Optimistic. Optimism is the par parent of playfulness. Its power is infectious as a sprinkle joy on circumstances or situations and increases the probability of experiencing success and moving through life's obstacles and is the seed to manifestation which helps create, co-create and sh shape reality. And sunstone is a stone you can use for this. Um, so I feel like you need to be optimistic about your goals and your dreams and what you're working on, okay? And you know, the other things you can use are fluorite. Fluorite informs and guides through clarity and insight. It ignites our imagination to reveal what is needed for something to flourish. Kyanite connects you t to abundance, new ideas, and life purpose. It is a meeting place for your dreams, illuminating past forward. Sunstone helps connect you to personal power, inner strength, and radiance, igniting new opportunities. Amnazite is used to clear out toxic energy, letting renewed life in. In loss, it gives you a place to celebrate letting go. It, a place of allowing it will keep you feeling empowered. More crystals to try are golden appetite, a gate, and stonite. Powerful stone combinations, kyanite, fluorite, kyanite, and stibonite, and sunstone and golden appetite. Another physical emotion that you need to harness right now is being strong, okay? You have been strong your whole life, but this will help you bring strength when you think you can't go anymore because you are worn out, okay? And I have strength stones for worn, being worn out too. By the way, I do make gemstone jewelry, and I will be uh, opening a website to uh, sh to sell gemstones that are ethically sourced from a mine, local, or uh, mine in Indian, okay? Um, this, you can use emerald. This strength, true strength comes from a place of emotional intelligence, which allows us to find value in our experiences. The ability to navigate with clarity, tolerance, and a greater understanding builds emotional strength and resilience. Being emotionally strong comes from a willingness to be seen in all forms of vulnerability. The stone is emerald. Emerald calls all fragmented pieces back to wholeness. It teaches resilience, encouraging you to go back on the horse and try again. Staying adaptable and strong. Diamond. An attention-grabbing stone. Diamond reflects such radiance that will encourage you to do the same. It is a spotlight to enhance what is deep within and rising to the surface. Sapphire. Sapphire nurtures communication when you have difficulty expressing yourself. It allows vulnerability to show and emotion to flow freely and feeding deep emotional strength. Obsidian. This is... Oh, that's black. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Obsidian. It's a black stone. Provides stability and protection. It can cut through emotional turmoil and provide a safe perspective to look at difficult situations, allowing the mind to feel at ease so that you may move forward. More crystals to try are turquoise, seraphinite, and ruby. Powerful stone combinations. Ruby and sapphire, diamond and emerald, and turquoise and obsidian. Okay, so like I said, you've, you're worn out. And you need to rest and rejuvenate when needed. Here's some stones that can help you with that, okay? Feeling worn out is the body's way of saying pay attention. It may happen when we are not utilizing our emotional energy well or not listening to our body when we need to rest. Cultivating an awareness of when we are beginning to feel like an emotionally wilted flower is the settable cue that it's time for some self-care. And remember, uh, physical pain often manifests because of emotional stagnant energy in the body. It's proven. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Um, a stone you can use for that is um, gold. 
which gold gives you the energy to persevere and acts as a pick-me-up, ushering in renewed strength and vitality. It is an amplifying yet grounding vibration, bringing brightness. Citrine. Citrine gives clarity on where change or a shift in priorities it is needed and reveals where energy is leaking out. It's Invigorating qualities can help you feel more energized. The ruby awakens a youthful liveliness that facilitates power and integrity. This stone activates a steady flow of energy to sustain you and prevent burnout. Phenocyte. The activating vibration of phenocyte moves in like a summer storm. It clears the slate clean and opens you up to a refreshing spring of receptivity. In this reprieve, reprieve, sorry, in this reprieve, you can mindfully select how to fill your inner well. More crystals to try are Larimar, Moldavite, and Tekite. Powerful stone combinations, ruby and gold, citrine and ruby, and gold and Moldavite. And Moldavite, if you're wanting to, like, change your life and bring in what's meant for you, Moldavite. Look it up. <laughs> okay, guys, so I hope this reading found you well, and so we meet again.